In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create an asset type library of application code manager. A quick overview. Library objects can be classified into asset type libraries and implement type libraries. An asset type library has content like add-on instruction definition, data type, HMI faceplate and reference manual. These are the content that are required to be instantiated only once in a project. An implement type library contains implementation code of the add-on instruction and HMI implementation like navigation button. The asset type library is linked to implement library as link libraries. In ACM, the user can choose to instantiate only the asset library or both implement and asset library. While instantiating in a project, an asset library is required to be instantiated only once, whereas the implement library can be instantiated depending on number of instances of implementation required in the project. Having separate asset and implement type library gives freedom to user to create own implement library to suit requirements. User can create an implement type library linked to a single or many assets. While updating the contents like add-on instruction or faceplate, user need to only update the asset type library. The implement library remains unchanged and gets the updated add-on instruction or faceplate from the asset library. For the demo, I'll create an asset type library for the value. In the library, I'll include the add-on instruction and dependent data types. I'll also include the HMI display, global object and a reference manual. The first step is to create a library and include the logics content. I have a logics designer application here with RAM device val add-on instruction. To create a library, we need to launch the library designer application. Right click on the controller and select the library designer application. The library designer is now opened. In the inclusions, uncheck the add dependency and add children option. This allows user to manually add the dependencies that needs to be part of the library. To identify the dependencies that will be needed in the library, enable the Show Dependencies option. Click on the Create a new library button. Enter the name of the library in Catalog Number field. I'll name the library as RAM Device Valve. Enter the description. These fields help to create a folder hierarchy in ACM. The solution comes at the top, followed by library type and then the category. For this example, I'll enter the category as valve, so I can group all valve related libraries. The library type as asset control, so all asset type libraries can be grouped. And solution as MBL demo. For asset type library, the content type should be selected as task. The drop down list in the library type, solution and category gets pre-populated from existing libraries in the ACM database. This helps in avoiding mismatch while typing similar texts. Enter the default name and description of the instance while instantiating this library in ACM. I'll keep it same as the library object name. Click OK to close the dialog. Now we will add the logics content into the library. This window shows the content of logics file from where we have launched the library designer. Drag and drop the RAM device valve add-on instruction 
into the library. Now the add-on instruction is added into the library. You can notice the string data type text is grayed out, which means that these are the dependencies for AOI and not yet included into the library. To include them into the library, right click on them and select include in this library. We are done adding the logics content in this library. Click apply to apply the changes. I'll publish the library into ACM database. To publish, right click on the library name and select publish library. The library can be published into the current ACM database or another database or a folder. I'll select the current ACM database. In the library import configuration, configure the status, revision history and details. While the library is under development, the status can be kept as pending. Keeping a library pending lets others inform that this library is under development and can be published any number of times without incrementing the major and minor revision. Modify the owner as required. I'll change it to Rockwell Automation. Click OK to publish. Now the library is published as pending. Click OK to close the library designer. Save the ACD file and close the logics designer. I'll open ACM and show you the library. Right click on the registered libraries and select refresh. You can see the folder hierarchy we created. The tool symbol means that the library is pending. The second part of asset library decoration is to add the attachments like HMI faceplate, global object, reference manual, etc. For this, I'll open the library object manager. Right click on the repositories and click add repository. Select ACM. Select the ACM database where the library is published. I had published the Valve Asset Library in MBL Demo Database, so I am selecting the same. Click OK. You can see the RAM Device Library here. To add attachments, first click on the attachments. The list here shows all the attachments that are part of the ACM database. Since there are currently no attachments, the list is empty. To add an attachment, click on the plus sign. First, we will add the faceplate. I'll name the attachments as V1 RAM Device Valve. The attachment name should be similar to the library object name, so it's easy to identify. Browse and select the file to be attached. Enter the description as faceplate me. Since this is the first revision, I'll enter the description as release. Following similar steps, I'll add the global object, reference manual and images. Since the images zip file is common across all the faceplates, 
I'll name the images attachment as v1 images. Now we have all the attachments in the database. To include the attachments with the library object, select the library object and then the attachment section. Right click on the attachment and select add. Select the attachments to be included and click OK. The next step is to configure the extraction path of the attachments. Extraction path is the folder organization where the attachments will be added. For global object, I have entered extraction path as project name slash visualization slash ftvme slash global objects. This means that when the attachment are extracted in the project in ACM, the ACM will create a folder with project name and further subfolders as visualization, ftvme and global object. The global object file will be placed inside the global object folder. Similarly, enter the extraction path for reference manual, faceplate and images. Click apply to apply the changes. Since we have done all the changes, the library can be published this time. Select the status as published. Enter the revision description. Since this is the first release, I'll enter the description as release. Click OK to publish the library. I'll open the ACM to show the attachments. Refresh the database. You can notice the tool symbol is now gone, which means this library is published. Click on the library. You can notice a new tab attachments is now visible. This shows all the attachments that are part of the library. To understand further about instantiating the library into a project, generating the code and display, watch the ACM workflow basics video series. Thanks for watching the video.